I think that uh, one thing that he also kept saying was he'd only told that he only told that two teams. Uh, his 2018 team and uh, uh, Dante Grantham went down with a torn ACL. That, I mean, that really took away one of the star players. He told that to them, and they had the potential to go there into the Final Four. They told it to us. That's the only two he told. So knowing that that's not something he just throws around, knowing that he was being serious and having that belief in us, we uh, that kept us in check and kept us to be able to believe ourselves as well. I would say, you know, getting back to the drawing board and watching film, uh, obviously the BC game, there was almost no good stuff. But uh, if you watch that and you go back, like you watch it out of the picture, you go back and watch the Notre Dame and Wake game, even though there were losses, Going back and watching, we were guarding well. It was more just that they hit shots and we didn't give that extra 10% to force a miss. And after that, Coach Brown, I was honest about giving that extra 10% to be able to force a miss, get a stop, get a rebound, and finish a game. And so that's what we were focused on going into the season. And as we came into this tournament, a lot of people only looked at that BC game and thought, this team's done, they're going to give up. But for all the trials we went through earlier in the conference play, that's what set us up to be able to continue to fight for this. And now we're playing our best basketball at the best time. I haven't had much time to think about it, but I'll definitely enjoy tonight, relax, hang out with these guys at the hotel, and tomorrow get back to the drawing board. It's, uh, it's not time to rest. I mean, the job's not done, and we uh, this team has big goals, and we know we have the guys to do it, the staff to do it, and uh, the confidence to do it. You guys were picked on six percent of brackets in the country to make the Elite Eight. Have you sort of thrived on being the underdog, the no one believed in us type team so far in the NCAA tournament? I'll tell you what, I mean, Dabo said it best, man. You better buy a stop. And uh, if you bought it, you were smart. Um, we, we saw all that stuff, but you can't let it affect you. I mean, it also is March, but you're gonna, people are going to pick upsets. But at the end of the day, we were confident in our preparation, our players, our talent, our staff. And uh, we came in here and made our mark, and we're not done yet. How would you describe the run you guys are on defensively right now? You've held all three teams in the tournament under 40% shooting. It's uh, the key to why we're winning. I mean, there are times against Baylor, we went six minutes without a free throw at the end of the or without a field goal at the end of the game. So that's the key to why we're winning. Going down these guards, Jack Clark, Chase Hunter, Chase had seven rebounds tonight, I'm pretty sure. Getting these rebounds, helping out our bigs and stuff, that's the key to why we're being able to fin finish these games. How would you describe the role, the run that Chase Hunter's on right now? Like he's scoring all three games. It's incredible. Uh, and. I mean, it's the fruits of his, his labor, and it, I'm so happy for him. Dude's been through every trial imaginable. I mean, injuries, personal stuff, and he has fought through everything. And uh, he's trusted God, trusted his family and his confidence, and it's gotten to an incredible point. You said the job wasn't finished. Uh, you were so emotional, locker room, on the way to the Sweet 16, but it almost seems like very business-like in here right yeah, now. Yeah, uh, I tell you what, because it was almost like – like a, uh, I don't want to say like a, uh, a surreal moment, but it was like that. I, I came into the school like wanting to get to this point. So then getting there and having the opportunity to continue to advance, it was like, oh, we're doing this right now. This is happening. So it felt, it was so surreal in the moment. And now knowing that we're one step closer, it's like, all right, like, it's time to bear down. Bear down and go out there and fight. The Elite Eight is something just one Clemson team ever has done before. What's it? What does it feel like to be creating history and helping write a record book? Yeah, um, a lot of good teams come through here. Uh, it's funny. Uh, Terrell McIntyre, one of the best players ever come through Clemson, second in our all-time leading scorer. Um, after we lost to BC, he talked to me and he was saying, hey, man, like, I think he actually addressed the team that we talked about separately after we, he said, like, the team that he went to the Swiss team with, is that scenario. They went to the ACC tournament, lost the first round, got bounced, and uh, then they went to the Swiss team. So he told us, hey, like, y'all can still do this. Like, this is not something that y'all are done. And he was able to continue and instill confidence in us. And we trusted each other and trusted our game plan. We got back to the drawing board, fought and grinded, and now we're on the way to the Elite Eight. And um, it's a... Uh, like I said earlier, the Swiss team, I told these guys to do a baseline, and it was time to rise, rise to the occasion for doing it. <clears throat> Thank you, man. Appreciate you. For some other games, you know, the Sensei tournament, you were able to be on the court and make some big momentum plays. You know, how did you feel to be on the court as much as you were there? Yeah, uh, finally. I, uh, 
I picked up three quick ones early in the second half, but having no fouls in the first was big for me. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it definitely is. It, it was finally good to be out there for 30 plus minutes with my guys and be able to affect the game in a serious way with rebounding and uh, scoring the ball late in the game. And these guys trust me. They know that I, you know, I was struggling the last couple of games. You know, whenever you're in foul trouble, you can't really get in a rhythm. And so, going into this next or this this past game, they continue to trust me and instill confidence in me. I love these guys for that. What's the feeling? About a minute left in that game, and you get that inbounds pass, and you make that dunk. It was, uh, it's funny. I, I, uh, we have been doing that in practice, knowing they're switching, uh, switching off ball screens. And uh, when we called that play, it was like, all right, here it is. Like I, I knew it was going to come. And as soon as they switched, and the guy was on top of my left leg, all I knew, all I did was cut and chase to go find me. It was a, uh, incredible play by our coach that drew it up, and uh, uh, it was special. Yeah.